after this happened, a lot of people started talking about rappers' mental health. And it's kind of like, um, it's kind of, sometimes it's hard to admit, you know what I'm saying? You might need somebody to, you know what I'm saying, help you figure a lot of this stuff out. Did you see anything like that? Yeah, um, as far as the mental health situation goes, it, it just be the people that's surrounded by you. So if you got a lot of your homeboys around you and they just all care about women and every day they're like, man, we on some hoes, we on some hoes. Um, where the girls at and everybody is not really on focus on money that it's, it's really just the people that surround you that will slow you down because your your mental stars become their mental you got six people around you that only cares about women and nothing else then you you end up being like them even though you're successful mm. you know what I mean so then if she do cheat on you now you just care about her and what everybody around you says because you know all your homies girls is so-called great and you know what i mean then you feel like your homies gonna be talking about you this you know it's just a lot of extra stuff with that mental stuff when it comes to women and stuff like that but as far as everything else you know drugs hold a lot of people back and mess up you know everything that's going on as far as with mental health um but the main focus is just the people around you bro you know you got to have a lot of people that can uplift you at all times keep you focused keep you focused on what's really the goal in life as far as getting to the bag and securing it and keeping it you gotta have some people to balance it out yes sir some uh some good people who are focused and you know what i'm saying and are themselves doing good in life and, yeah you know not not just the whole person keeping the boat boat afloat you need other people that are yeah kind of at the top themselves and maybe even not in music maybe in other ways yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, man, so just anybody who's just trying to, um, you know, take their life to the next level as far as with credit or with just mentorships, you know, I got a site called kevofans.com. Just, I talk about everything that's on there. Like, people, a lot of people that's, that be hitting me up be trying to get verified on Twitter or Instagram. It's a lot of different game that's on Kevo Fans. I'm also still number one. I make millions of dollars on OnlyFans still. Because I, I sell credit cleaning letters, you know what I'm saying? To show you how to clean your credit step by step. I got courses, tour courses, Airbnb courses. Um, just everything about education, man, that's, that can help people get to the next level of life. You know what I mean? So just wanted to put that out there for everybody that's watching. How do you find the time to do all the... You sound like you have a lot of business. I mean, this is the thing. So one thing about me is um, I, I find people who who think like me and what I do is just hire people to, you know, to make sure everything is good on the ends I need them to be good on, you know, but I am a self made independent person. So I do a lot of things myself because a lot of people don't think like me and they, they have different priorities. So somebody you might be dealing with, they might care instead of caring about success, they might care about their girl more than they care about their own self which I care about myself first, God, myself, and then everything else. They care about their, they care about their, their girl, then yourself. You know what I'm saying? So it, when you, when you dealing with that, it's like, um, you, I mean, you, I'm sure you had friends, um, you know, for years and years and years, right? So, you know, their failures, you know, the reason why that they're not successful now, five years later, you know, yeah, what I mean? no, you know, I, either I, it's no. drugs, a girl, um, lazy, you, you know, that you know exactly what, um, caused them to not get successful. And when I'm looking for people, I read people very well, very quick. You can only, you could be around a person, um, for like two days and, uh, know exactly the type of person that you're dealing with and what they care more about. So that's a big factor for you when you're hiring people. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta look real, real deep into them, especially with women. It's harder to hire women because women will let women is they put love over um, success. They put love even over their self. That's how they were raised. So they just really like, let's say if they working with you, but you they go missing for two, three weeks, all for like a, a boyfriend situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So.
you would be like, damn, what happened to Becky? You know what I'm saying? And she would just go, oh, I'm having problems with my guy and all this. You know what I'm saying? So, Is there any books you would recommend? Any the, the number one book I would recommend everybody who's watching this video right now is to read Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Bro, that is, that's the same shit I say. That's my favorite book. Bro, I read, and then once you read that one book, he has like seven, eight more books. If you read them, your whole mindset on your mind will change. Like, everything about how you thought is going to change once you read that book. He, like, that's the, that was one of the best books I read in my life, bro. No, real shit, man. Um, that, that, That's crazy. That's crazy that shit, like, because... I was just telling somebody else that same exact, you know what I'm saying? Like this book will man exactly what you said. It'll I couldn't, you I couldn't world. even believe it when I read it. I was like, what? Like then I say, man, you right. Like it's all the mindset because people are really like that. Like the poor dad really like, and that was like my family coming up. So I was just like, damn, that's how my family tried to tell me. And then I, I didn't have no like, the rich dad mentality trying to tell me. Like, I'm the rich dad mentality on my family now. It's crazy. So, yeah. That's a yeah, great book. Sure, man. Well, man, I appreciate you. Yes, sir. Appreciate everything, brody. Yeah, man. Dope interview, man. You know, uh, you know, a lot of knowledge, you, you know what I'm saying, you put out there yeah. for the fans and everything, especially um, with the police and everything like that. Yeah, and, you yeah, know, yeah. Man, I, I appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. Same. All right, bro. All right, bro. Peace. Peace.